evening everybody <clears throat> Now before you're through You're the glory Good evening everybody, how are you? I am glad you enjoyed the show tonight, Janice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did anybody hear Unde Kumalo is watching? Mwah. <laughs> Good evening to you, darling. I hope you're well. Good evening, Gabriella. Good evening, everybody. Hallelujah. Nde, I love you, my darling. Wherever you are, just bless God. I am so happy. My heart is full of joy. Fatma, did you enjoy it? So you not eat ladies. Why didn't you call in then? Huh? <laughs> Feel free to watch whenever. Feel free to call in for prayer. Hallelujah. Let's just um, give God glory. Give God praise. Our God is a good God. He's a wonderful father. Oh, Pastor Hutchins, good evening. Hello, Gavi, darling. I see you. Te Habiola, I called you earlier. I called you earlier. I hope you're doing well. I need to speak to you, my darling. Just join me in celebrating Jesus. My heart is full of joy. You're correct, Janice. He is the emperor. Nobody else but God rules and reigns. Hello, Dawn. I, I must apologize. The past two days uh, have been quite epileptic in terms of the technology. And... Um, Please forgive me, but what I most certainly will do, because I hate it when things challenge me. When things challenge me, I must conquer them. I have tried in two, on two separate occasions to do that particular edit. I try the Mother's Day, I try the day after Mother's Day, the same thing. IT or technology issues. Hello, Chidim, my darling, good evening. Hello, Paula, hello, Mary May. And when things happen like that, I say, sit and lie. <laughs> so I'm going to settle down hmm? and not just do the preaching. But I'm going to turn it into a series. See, when things challenge me, that's what I do. I never back down. Never. Never. So when things challenge me, such as the past two days, I've been trying to do that thing on wicked mothers and stepmothers. But IT issues. Na lie. We shall have it all. <laughs> We must know what they don't want us to know. Yes. We must hear what they don't want us to hear. Mm -hmm. Because inside of that preaching is the deliverance of so many men and women here. Hallelujah. I need you to celebrate Jesus with me. Our God is too much. I love my God more and more and more and more and more. Hallelujah. On Friday, we are doing a very special edit on immigration and court cases. There's uh, one of us on this platform, a very special child of God. She's facing a court case next week. For her children 
So I am standing with her in prayer and this ministry is standing by her as well. And I was going to do a one-to-one -one session with her. But I felt, no, let other people benefit. And I had also promised last week that um, I heard that the Italian authorities are now going to build a facility with which to fast track all deportations of Africans, particularly Nigerians, back to Nigeria. You know, I pledge to Nigeria my country, yes. But detail of how people get to Italy in the first place is one that is full of woes. So this ministry is standing by not just Af Nigerians, but Africans, Jamaicans, anybody who has a passport problem, no matter how rotten the case, no matter how forgotten conclusion it is, how much of a forgotten conclusion. So Friday, whether you are guilty, eh? whether you did it, whether you did not do it if you did it you are coming on saturday you only have a single prayer point mercy of god god have mercy father if you did it no matter what the case is when you come here on friday hello amaka darling good to see you my darling if you did it you only have one prayer point from beginning to end here on Friday. Father, show me your mercy. Have mercy on me. If you did not do it, if you have been unjustly accused, if through no fault of your own you have been dragged to court, dragged to a panel, dragged to an interview, called into question, Given a query, nurses who are here, nurses, 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 drug error, drug error, drug error, drug, the, the devil is using drug error to fight nurses. Every nurse, in fact, whether you have a case, you don't have a case, you, you must turn up on Friday so that you can put in the bank of heaven prayers that will safeguard your tomorrow. Whether it's a child custody case, they want to take your children from you. The, the, your children reported you in school for beating them. Now social services have stepped in. Whether it's a divorce issue. Whether your husband wants to separate you or wife has served you letters. So whatever the case is, please set your alarm on Friday. Eight o'clock. Eight. We are going to knock on the door of heaven here. Lawyers who are just about to lose their licenses and who because of connecting to this channel, they won't lose it. They won't. You see, we are not boasting, oh, but God loves this ministry. We are his heart. Hallelujah. This ministry does not dilute Jesus Christ. We don't augment him. There's no need. Hallelujah. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer. And so, here we call upon the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Whatever that woe is, whether they've called meeting for you in your father's house, your in-laws have reported you to the mother-in-law so they are forming court case whether you're going for for a chieftaincy title one woman called me some time ago from america her husband had been wanting to be king for over 10 years they'll say bring one million today bring one million tomorrow hey 
Hey, a monkey needs a uh, needs wife. So and they have to. The, the governor, uh, the people that are contending have given the governor ten million as bribe. So you have to give the governor as twenty million to balance the equation. To if you have any court case, any if anybody has come to threaten you anybody has done this to you say you go see you not go see oh then go see come on so friday is when we drag them to court and scatter court cases go and tell everybody tell everybody hallelujah let's give god glory because our god doesn't give up on us our God is a good God. Now begin to celebrate Jesus. Begin to give him wonderful names. What does J-E-S-U-S, -S, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, Yeshua Mashiach, what does he mean to you? Come on, let's hear it. Hallelujah. Run into the secret place of the Most High God. Run into the shadow of the Almighty. Our God is the God who takes over when he arrives. My brothers, my sisters, in this hour of prayer, my God has taken over. He's beyond compare, beyond all reason, beyond all logic. He's the pillar that holds my life and your life. He's not a man-made God. I was on television tonight and my topic of choice was the Holy Ghost fire. I am still very, very much in the spirit. I'm tingling. My body the boy. Anointing popping like popcorn. Somebody receive it in the name of Jesus. Mante Katia Kalabuzo Santa. Jesus. Hey. As you hear the music of Elijah Oleya, they playing in the background. Just give glory to God. Salute him. Worship him. Romance him with beautiful names. Is he the only tomato in your jollof rice? Feel his love. Feel the love of Jesus in the sour. Mandiako so tolo kutanta. He's the one that dries your tears, the one they see and the ones they don't. <laughs> Yay! Koma Zandia Ratata. Yigweki Gwekala. Father me. I love the way you father me. That's what the song is saying. This is the way you father me. Daddy, 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 daddy. <laughs> hey, I want somebody to laugh in the Holy Ghost. Ha! <laughs> Laugh in the Holy Ghost. Come on. It is time to call our daddy. Hiya. I can't explain what I'm feeling. I can't explain this strange fire. I don't need to. Hey, my Jesus. Because of him, the embryo of my destiny can germinate into a seedling. <laughs> hey. Bofonya nasin no no. You shoot at him and he's still eating that grass. The singular we refer to in the plural. You touch my eyes so I can see you. Ah, you are making me to be like you. You touch my heart. So I can love you more. Jesus. If you don't know the song, go and get it. Come on. Elijah or Yelade. The way you father me. The way he fathers you and I. Devil, not a father like that. Oh. <laughs> Even your papa, 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 papa doesn't father like that. He's an awesome God. Tell him that you love him. 
Master, save your deliverer friend. Baba, daddy. Yeah. Oh, Jenamo. Tonight, as we pray, fill us with your spirit. Tonight, as we pray, oh, da, our footsteps. Ha. You make your ministers flames of fire. You make your angels spirits. You make your daughters and your sons flames of fire. Tonight as we come before you, set us a place, oh God. It is all about Jesus. It's not about man or woman. It's not about that prophet. Uh -huh. It's not about that whatever. Doctor, 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 doctor. Banza. Ma. It's about Jesus. Tell Jesus it's all about him. Celebrate Jesus. Be focused. Trust no man. It is all about the rose of Sharon, the lion of the tribe of Judah. I love the way you father me. I love the way you father me. I love the way you father me. I love the way you love me. Ha! Surrender to our Jesus. I want you to write poetry with your tongue. Hey! See that beautiful future. See you and Jesus side by side. There is no you without Jesus. You know that? See that glorious future with Jesus in tow. The psalmist says fire goes before the Lord and tonight it is. Sarah, God bless you, Fatma. You're in spirit. Look at my girl typing in the typing in the Holy Ghost language already. Krakatatata. Braka telebo sotoru tata. Zoje satane alabo sotua. I surrender to you, Jesus. Sandra surrenders to you. Jesus, take all of me. Give me all of you. Take all of me. Ah. Celebrate Jesus. Consuming fire. May God touch your eyes and my eyes. May he open our eyes to see more. May he give us all the eyes of Elisha. Come on. May he give us the insight he gave Joseph, Daniel. May God touch your ears so that you can hear him. May he touch my ears too. Come on. Come on, Gabriela. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Echetopiesike. Echetopiesike. When you remember him, your heart goes stronger. Ah. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. The God of Genesis. Eh? The God of the Psalms. The one who decided, Jacob, will I love? Esau, will I hate? He has decided to love Dr. Jesus' platform. Ain't nothing anybody can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate this Jesus. Hey, the one that takes a beggar from the dunghill and sets him among the princes. The God that makes the barren woman the mother of five. The one that took the one that had been rejected by the dead and by the living. And converts that person into the most wanted of all. The one that took the young orphan girl, Esther. And decided to make her queen. There was nothing anybody else could do about it. The God that made Vashti make a mistake. <laughs> the God that made that enemy tormenting you make a mistake. The mistake that promotes you in their stead. The God that pours scorn on the enemy. Why? Because he loves you. The one that says in Ezekiel 21, 27, I will overturn, I will overturn, I will overturn. 
Ha! Until he comes, she comes. Until Gabriella comes, until Sharon comes. Until patience comes, until Khadija comes. Until Dr. Jesus Ministries comes, until Pastor Sandra comes. Ah! Maya katalebo sutole atanelebo suta. Talole bilere. Nobody can ask God question. Master most indescribable. With water and blood, he creates the child. How he did it, I don't know. Ha! A mystery that deepens every day. Come on. Receive the Holy Ghost, everybody. Janice, receive the Holy Ghost. You see, our coming to God is a function of spirit to spirit. Oh, <laughs> Jenna The first born among the dead. He who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Hallelujah. The triune God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Nothing else and nobody else like him. I can look at him all day. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. Ah, this our God is beautiful. Nanya, this our God is wonderful. Good evening, prophetess. I see you, prophetess Sylvia. This our God is beautiful, is wonderful. Kanta ta 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 ta. My sisters and my brothers, this is not an empty experience. Something is happening. Oh, he's living inside of us. He is the fourth man in the fire. Oh, he lives inside of you and I. He is the breath of life. Hallelujah, my God breathes inside of you. Everybody. Breathe in. Hey, everybody breathe out. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. <laughs> breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. His name is Emmanuel. In through your nose. Hey, come on. Our God has seated upon the throne. The earth is his footstool. He says it will make the place of his feet glorious. Ah, lift up your head, O ye gates. In this hour of prayer, lift up your gates. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. <laughs> Our God who hangs the earth on nothing. Nothing. The earth is just floating. Ah! Maya kota tele do 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 Jesus just allows the spirit of God to enter every day is not die by fire die by fire there's things happening now and you didn't even have to pay your ticket to go to Nigeria or go to or Papua New Guinea is here Holy Ghost is here breathing through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. <laughs> In through your nose. Breathe out that pain in the back. Breathe out that shame you've carried for years. Breathe out that disgrace the enemy had wanted to put on you. Breathe out the grave clothes of death. Come on. Breathe out that evil dream. I had a dream, my people. Sometimes there are some dreams you have. When you have the dream, you wake up. Yeah. 
You don't even have to pray again. You just rub your stomach as if you ate a good meal. And you say, ha, ha, ha. Let me tell you the dream I had. In the dream, I saw the open fire. Oh, -ta 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 -ta. But my fellow mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters in the Lord, I'm happy to say when I woke up, everybody else was dead. I was the last man standing and only man standing. Then I finish. <laughs> hey, breathe in. Breathe out! For my God is a consuming fire and as you breathe. <laughs> hey, you breathe in Jesus. Come on. Breathe in and breathe out. This may hey, he's the voice of the thunder. Krakata ta telebuzuntata. Your eyes is like the lightning. And you are living inside of me. Ha! You are the fourth man in the fire. And you're living inside of me. You hear that? You are the breath of life. You are living inside of me, Jesus. Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel. <laughs> hey. Emmanuel. Talababa sotate. Hera. Guza tata. Yerakon teke. Zanko shuskele bosutata, maya tu kera ketete, mania na musora katata. Let the chains break asunder. Let the bars of iron be cut asunder. Hey, lift up your head, oh you gates of disgrace, you gates of shame, you gates of ancestors past, you gates of interception. You gates of the wicked elders of my father's house. You gates of the wicked, el wicked elders of my mother's house. You children of the devil are signed to downplay the hand of God in Dr. Jesus' ministries. Hallelujah. Ah! Receive fire. Janice, receive fire. Come on. Begin to pop, begin to pop, begin to pop, begin to pop. Fire! Ah, when you are jaw. My sweetheart, I lay this mantle on you. I lay it on you. Receive fire! Receive fire. Everybody receive fire! Turn to fire. Oh yeah, mantra right now. I receive fire, I turn to fire. I become fire. I receive fire, I turn to fire. I become fire, I receive fire. I turn to fire. I swallow fire. I change to fire. I am fire. Come on. Ah. The Holy Spirit is here. He's the Spirit of the Father, He's here. He's the Spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ, He's here. He's the one that came upon Joseph in Genesis 41, 38. He's here. Hey! He's the one that came upon Joshua in Numbers 27, 18. He's here. Whoa! He came upon Zechariah the high priest. Swallow fire. Become fire. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. We have done nothing but glorify God since we came here. Everybody repeat after me. I receive fire, I turn to fire. Come on. I receive fire, I turn to fire. Come on. I receive fire, I turn to fire. I receive fire, I turn to fire, I become fire. I receive fire, I turn to fire, I become fire. Come on. I receive fire, I turn to fire, I become fire. Come on. Maniele kusoti kelele se tade abutuntu. This hour is not up for negotiation. This is the hour of the Holy Ghost. The hour has come. Everybody declare, say the hour has come. Everybody declare, say the hour has come. 
Everybody declare, say the hour has come. Everybody declare, say the hour has come. Everybody declare, say the hour has come. Say, Holy Ghost, pour your fire, the hour has come. Say, Holy Ghost, pour the fire, the hour has come. Say, Holy Ghost, my time has come. I want to manifest my fire. Come on, that's it, that's it. Holy Ghost, your time has come. I want to manifest my fire. Holy Ghost, your time has come. My time has come. Holy Ghost, my time has come. I want to manifest by fire. I want to manifest by fire. By the right hand of God, which is fire, begin to manifest. By the right hand of God, which is fire, begin to manifest. By the right hand of God, which is power, begin to manifest. Our God is here. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. May the spirit that came upon David in 1 Samuel 16, 13 come upon you and I. In the name of Jesus. May the spirit that came upon David in 1 Samuel 16 to 13. And 16 and 13. May it come upon you and me right now. May the Holy Spirit that came upon Elijah in 2 Kings 2.15 May he come upon me and come upon you now in the name of Jesus As I'm calling all these names in the Bible I want you to choose the mantle you want I want you to choose the mantle you want You see It said of Queen Esther when it was time for her to go to the king She received grace and favor up until the time she had gone to the king all she received was grace she had found grace in the sight of this grace in the sight of that but by the time it was time to go and see the king when her turn came because after tonight it shall be your turn too what came on Esther will come upon you hallelujah I'm sure in those days that there were girls because girls came from all around the world to catch the king's eye there would have been girls there very black by the time it was time to see the king they turned to half cast white bleaching cream upon all that there was there were girls from noble homes there were girls with rich fathers and rich mothers she had nothing but her uncle who was a gate man there's dignity in labor God was still able to walk in that and use that. God would take whatever form and essence you have of you. God will take your present framework, your present structure, and God will absolutely fashion it into that which he wants. Hallelujah. May the spirit that came upon Esther come upon you. Receive favor. The Holy Spirit is the one that came upon Elijah and he outran the chariots of the king. Receive speed in the journey of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed in the name of Jesus. Receive speed in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one that fills the believer. As you're praying right now, he's filling you up. He's filling you up. The Holy Spirit is the one that fills the mouth of the believer with appropriate things. You see, all these prayers you're saying now is the Holy Spirit speaking through you. All these things you are typing is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. He's using your mouth to exalt himself. Everything everybody's been typing here has been Holy Spirit inspired. That's how the Bible was written, you know. His own inspiration. May the Spirit of the Lord fill you yet more and more in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God. Yes. 
can feel that you're correct. Everything that everybody's been typing here since is the Holy Spirit. When I say type in the Holy Ghost and indeed you start to type, it may look like jumbled words, but before God they are not. He's reading what you've typed. He's understanding what you've typed. You coming to God is a function of the spirit to spirit. Hallelujah. Bless our God who has done it for us yet again. I bid you welcome. I say a good evening to you. It's good to have you on board. So Gabriella, help me. Earlier on, we gave people the opportunity of voting. As I was making my way to the TV studio, I was quite busy. I couldn't do the um, compilation myself. But Gabriella has helped me. Gabriella, darling, I need you to tell me what, uh, which destiny have people voted for to reject tonight? I made a selection from my book. This book is 50 Destinies You Should Reject. I made a selection from my book and I asked Gabriella to please put together and to compile the voting. And oh, what the pim pimple ran the race? Pimple destiny. Okay. People just so people everybody wants to what well, how many votes? Can we get the votes? I beg you, my darling. How many people voted? Hallelujah. How many people voted? How many people voted? Hallelujah. Congratulations to those of you who voted to reject the pimple destiny. That's what we're dealing with tonight. For a while now, the topic has been destinies we should reject. You know, in the journey of life, it's important that we understand the concept of destiny. Oh, Pimple got nine. Housefly got two. Standby generator. How many did standby generator get? You said E. Oh, nobody voted it. Oh, whoa, okay. Hallelujah. You know, in the Bible, nothing comes to the Christian without force. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Oh, standby generator had three votes. Hallelujah. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. When you ask, when you seek, when you knock, these are all three phases of demands. To be a perfectly perfect Christian, it's important you know how to place a demand for something, otherwise that thing will not come. The greatest thing you can ever lay a demand on is your destiny. You see, fulfilling your destiny is not a matter of brain work alone. It's not a function of going to school alone. It's not a function of how intelligent you are. Your destiny is not a function of your talent alone. So say for an example, you can play football, but when, you're, when the enemy holds your leg, can you play the football? No. May the devil not hold anybody's legs here or the legs of our children in the name of Jesus. What is destiny? Come on. As we are taking this, as we are listening, the Spirit of God is praying for us. He is our intercessor. He's our advocate. He's here. Hallelujah. Your destiny is God's agenda for your life. Your destiny is God's divine roadmap for you. Your destiny is your appointed or ordained future. Your destiny is 
you finding your place in this world your destiny is what is your record in heaven what heaven has decreed that you must be or you must have start shouting jesus say jesus i want my destiny jesus i can't fail in my destiny start shouting jesus it's called the prayer of blind Bartimaeus. start shouting jesus start shouting jesus come on my labos jesus as you shout jesus he's here he's listening to you shout jesus tell jesus son of david have mercy on me blind Bartimaeus kept shouting that they told him keep quiet he refused to keep quiet refused to keep quiet shout jesus jesus hey rakatelebo sotias mayagos mrakatalelis bragados son of david have mercy on me pray to the father that is what the spirit of god is doing as we are all shouting jesus say jesus i cannot fail in my destiny i must realize my destiny my jesus i want to actualize my destiny my destiny be made manifest ah. Say, my father, close the gap between me and my destiny. My father, close the gap between me and my destiny. Come on. Malebo sukoroko tata. Zuya yata. Manieku tototo. Jusa tanya kataloza. Bayaya. Boyoyo. Niswela. Marakata. Shelego sata. Come on. Jesus Kotata. Ha. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus. None like him. Our God is good. He is sacred. Sacred heart of God is praying for you and I. In this hour as we shout his name. Shout Jesus. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus, as you shout, he's laminating you, tefloning you. Ha! He's washing you with his blood. He hears you. My God is here. My God is here. My God is here. Shout, Jesus. Don't be bored. He has given you a tongue, use it. My God is here. My God is a good God. Changer of destiny. Rewriter of destiny. Changer of history. Come on, Lord. Say, I receive your reign, Holy Spirit. I receive your reign, Holy Spirit. I receive your reign, Holy Spirit. Say, reign on me. Rain on my destiny. Rain on my destiny. Make me a viable proposition, O God. Make the proposition of Sandra worthy. Help me to become more practical. Help me to become more strategic. I lay siege at the door of heaven. Everybody, I want you to say, I lay siege at the door of heaven. Say, I knock on the door of heaven. My destiny awake. I knock on the door of heaven. My destiny awake. I knock on the door of heaven. My destiny awake. I knock on the door of heaven. Holy Ghost, answer my prayer tonight. The Spirit of God has to do it. It can't be you. It's not by might, not by power. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about enemies that are stronger than us. Even David said, Oh, my father, my father, deliver me from enemies that are stronger than I. It takes the Holy Spirit to deliver you from enemies that are stronger than you. Fact. You are not the strongest person on earth. There's always somebody who has more energy, more strength. 
but bad by the spirit of God they will not overcome you come on our God is here that divine blueprint that God has mandated for your life must take place it must happen your appointed and your ordained future will not be swallowed by another your crown will not fall off say my crown will not fall off hold your head say my crown will not fall off my diadem will not fall off the crown that god has put on my head shall not fall off yeah your destiny is the expectation of heaven over your life It cannot be ground to a halt. It cannot be ground to powder. Hallelujah. Your destiny is what God had in mind for you. And as such, created you in that, in that fashion. God has a book. He has written the destiny of everybody. For some people here, he has written you be a first lady. For some people here, he has written that you are the Jebras of this generation, the Jaels, the Marys. He has written that you are the Elijah, the Joseph, the Joshua. I love Joshua. Beautiful name in the Bible. The general whose sword drank the blood of the enemies. <laughs> hey! The Spirit of God is interceding for our destiny as we, as, as, as we are decreeing it. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will bring you up. The blood of Jesus will raise you up. He will make you new. It will resurrect you. He will anchor you to the God realm. He makes you a God man. You know, in India, they have the concept of the God man. Indians may not be Jesus inclined in their entirety. There's still a remnant there. But they know what it means like to be spiritual to the extent that they refer to their sat gurus as God men. Human beings they believe has have gone from terrestrials to celestials. Shout Jesus! Begin to shout Jesus. You too must be a God man. You too must be a God woman. Start shouting Jesus. Come on. Ha! Bragatolos. Shugalabazat. Zanielebo seketas. Jesus. That the spirit of God may pray for you. It's important that you shout the name of Jesus. That the spirit of God can champion your cause. It's important to start shouting Jesus. Ha! That the Spirit of God will whittle down your position for your sake is important. You start shouting, Jesus. Come on. Stir up the gift of the living Jesus inside of you. Stir up the seven spirits of God. Stir up wisdom. Stir up counsel. Stir up knowledge. Stir up might. Stir, stir up power. Stir up the Spirit of, G of the Lord. Stir up, stir up the Spirit of fear of God. Seven spirits of God. Delilah cut them off the head of Samson. Don't let anybody cut your seven locks off. Be firmly affixed in the Holy Ghost. Choose to be anchored to God. Ah, because what God has written concerning you in your life and destiny must manifest. Destiny. You see, when you watch the people playing on the football field. Ha! This song just takes me away. I begin to climb realms I never knew existed when I hear the song. He makes a good day better. He makes a bad day good. In Jesus' name, nobody here will ever have any bad day. Come on. Drink the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. Dip your tongue in the blood of Jesus. Rakatalabos, sanctify yourself in the Holy Ghost. It is you that God has destined to receive from His table tonight, and so it is. Nobody can stop that. 
Nobody can stop that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pimple. Pimple. Receive the rain of the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I congratulate you. We are now in the throne of the holiest of all. We are now sitting at the face at the feet of Jesus. We have poured perfume on his feet. We have divorced ourselves from the proceedings. We are not we are not matters, matter, matter of matter, women, women of many matters. We have chosen to do the needful thing. We are laying siege at the foot of door, at the feet of God. This is the hour it has come. Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. Now we are elected to study pimple destiny. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here who has never had a pimple before? And I'm conducting this from the second ever book I wrote. It's called, it's called 50 Destinies You Must Reject. Woman, woman, 50 Destinies You Must Reject. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here who has never gotten a pimple before? Humor me. I want to know. No matter, even if you've been eating vegetable for breakfast, lunch, and supper since the day you were given birth to until now, the fact is, at one point or the other, whether male, whether female, you have encountered pimples. The pimple we saw yesterday, may we never see them again in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. This destiny is a loaded. What do you mean, Gabriella? You've never had a pimple before. Oh, boy. That's very good, oh. Well done, no. Oh. The pimple the rest of us saw yesterday, we shall never see again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you remember how you felt when... Can you remember how you felt when you had that pimple? I don't like pimples. They're uncomfortable. You know they're there. You know that they're it's painful. No matter how small the pimple is, it's painful. The thing about pimple as well is that it's where everybody can see it. Hallelujah. Look at that. Sharon said she couldn't sleep. <laughs> As a result of pimples, my sister, now for those pimples, oh, eh? receive deliverance from pimples that will make you sleep in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The thing about pimple is, no matter how beautiful you are, you know they're there. People see the type of man or woman that has that kind of pimple. Or that destiny, when we talk about pimple destiny, share the video, please share the video. You know how you got to hear about this Dr. Jesus Prayer Network. Take advantage, let others enjoy it, share the video. And be blessed as you are, as you do. Come on. The thing with pimple is when you see them, some have very good discipline, they don't touch the pimple. But other people are just me as soon as I see any pimple it must go that's the name of the campaign I initiate and you know you can bear me witness that when you zap a pimple truly you derive a measure of comfort because you've discharged what shouldn't be there what am I talking about this kind of destiny is a very painful life when you zap a pimple there's pain involved when we talk about pimple destiny, when you squeeze it, when you zap it, or whatever it is, English you use, there's pain. It's not a pleasant experience. Holy 
It's a life of pressure. Pimple is a life of stress. Because there's something happening inside the body. Either what you ate is not agreeing with you or what you ate is... Um, is fighting your system or the, there's a corruption somewhere inside the body mass that leads to the pimple forming in the first place it's a life of pain a life of pressure a life of stress say i reject a painful life Declare with your mouth saying, say I reject a life of pressure. Declare and say I reject a life of stress. We are praying now. Please, everybody stop talking about the pimple. Now look at me. Painful, pastor. I always speak it, pastor. Or reaction, pastor. Eh, or skinny. Khadija is enough now. Eh? Put a pimple, pimple. Let's pray, oh. Everybody say, I reject a painful life. I reject a stressful life. I reject a life of pressure. I reject a life of pain. I reject a life of pain. Pimples can be very painful. Hallelujah. As you're rejecting it, because when we started, you, you all took the prayer point. You said, I dip my tongue in the blood of Jesus. And because you have what you declare tonight, shall be. What you declare on earth is declared in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the song. Nobody Like You by Paul Wilbur. You see, a pimple destiny talks about a polluted life. It's a life of contamination. A life of coagulated mess is ripe for discharge. Is your life a mess? Is your life full of contamination? Is your life ripe for discharging the satanic deposits some of you eat at night when you sleep there was one day one woman came she texted me oh she eats in her dreams and she drinks I said really I said what do you eat And she mentioned oh, the rice, meat, all sorts. <laughs> I laughed. I said, my dear, it's not quite though. They don't give you which, which meat. They've initiated you. I said, what do you drink? Oh, she drinks a juice, one juice like this, called a pito. <laughs> pito. I said, is it Coke? Is it Fanta? Is it yellow? Is it black? Oh, it's like juice. It's Peter. I said, ah, you've drank blood, though. She says, no, it's Peter. I said, see your mouth. I, the pastor, I'm telling you what you ate and drank in the dream. You are telling me you drank Peter. You didn't drink Peter. She was contaminated. And I've been watching on these programs to see. She doesn't come on regularly. She's still walking up and down, looking for who, to, who will tell her that the pita she's drinking is champagne. Not me, I can't lie. She didn't drink champagne, she drank blood. You see, when you eat and when you drink in your dreams, it's contamination. It's contamination. It's contamination. Because you are here. If that is you, whether you've told me or whether you've not told me, the Holy Spirit knows you. Receive deliverance. Swallow thunder. Swallow thunder. I begin to purge you. 
thunder power i strike your stomach with thunder i strike all of your digestive system when i talk about digestive system from your teeth to your tongue to your throat to your gullet to your esophagus to your stomach to your small intestine to your large intestine i blast it all with thunder every contamination whatever has turned you into a coagulated mess whatever has ripened your life for satanic discharge that thing that has meant that your life ejects rubbish If you're a man watching this that thing that is making the doctors tell you you have low sperm count there's a contamination going on low sperm count who counted it who counted it low sperm count you two are carrying reports who kept i see that report and i set it ablaze with the fire of the holy ghost when the spiritual is speaking medical science must shut up i say medical science shut up every negative report from medical scientists ah huh? in the life of everybody here i dip my tongue in the blood of jesus and i say medical science shut up jesus science take over holy ghost take over holy ghost Take over, Holy Ghost. Take over, medical science. Shut up. Ah, ah, Jesus. Who counted it? Low sperm count. He's he too is jumping up and down. La 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 la. Like in tear, eh? Oh, pull the pot now, girl. Now, but they are, I got but they are so low. But where you find where fear? Five sperm count. Shut away, dear. Medical science. Shut up. Holy Ghost, speak up. Hey, medical science, shut up. In the life of everybody here, whether the report is fibroid, cyst, heart attack, low at asthma, sinuses, back pain, body pain, headache, blindness, cataract, eh, 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 hydrocephalus, leprosy, madness, mental disease. Oh God, psychosis. Whether they know what it is, whether they don't know what it is. Medical science, shut up! Ah! Holy Ghost, speak up! Now so. Pimple. We are talking of a pimple destiny. The pimple destiny. Everybody say God forbid. Say God forbid. On behalf of me and my generation to come, I say God forbid. Pimple destiny minus me. Yeah. The glory of God is here. I didn't call myself to do this. I did not call myself to do this. My life before this was jaye jaye. Shank bummy. Nah. I did not call myself to do this. I know my calling. I know my commitment. I know my consecration. I know my covenant with my God. You hear me so? Say God forbid. Ha! You see, pimple, when it starts, it starts as a fluid. But if you leave it unzapped, it coagulates into a thickened mass, into a curdle, it congeals into a scab. 
And when you're zapping it, if you're truly vicious with the thing, it can turn to a lasting scar. When you see some girls and some men out there, they have picked their no uh, pick their pimple, pick, pick. Their face is full of scars, 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 scars. I normally feel so sorry for them. So so sorry for them. You know? So so sorry for them. This kind of destiny I'm talking about, the woman or the man, has scabbed, scabbed into a position of normalized pain. Pain is normal. Pain is normal. May pain never be normal in your life or my life in the name of Jesus. Who knows like better thing? Yeah? I say may pain not become normal for you or normal for me in the name of Jesus. This life has no effectuality. It's a life that is full of bitterness. Ah. Say I reject bitterness. I reject bitterness. I reject bitterness. Bitterness. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. Any power pumping bitterness into my life, carry your load and go. Carry. On oh, now, fearful load of bitterness. Carry, 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 carry and go. Ah. This woman has spent her life. She gives and gives and gives. This type of man, woman or man, you give, 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 give. Give yourself, give some have even donated their body parts for operation. Oh, somebody needs their somebody wants their, their blood group, they donate blood. Somebody wants blood bone marrow, they donate. Still bitterness. Because they are unappreciated. They always give themselves and they don't have time. They, they don't appreciate themselves. And appreciation, you have to appreciate you first. If you are waiting for people to appreciate you, you will wait forever. If you are waiting for people to appreciate you, you will wait forever. Come on! Oh, you are awesome. Our God is awesome. God of power. He is the Lord of glory. Come and feel this place. My God is awesome. Yeah. This type of woman is selfless to the core. But is not fulfilled. Jesus. My brothers and my sisters here, you need to start appreciating yourself for... Go out and buy yourself a meal, buy that car, buy that cloth, learn that language, do that business, make that friendship, to the glory of God, of course. Study that degree, travel to that country. after yourself check into the spa I, I need to check into the spa this weekend actually check into the spa go in the morning come out in the evening sometimes all you need to do is just buy popcorn buy slush puppy and just turn your phone off and just chill come on my God is here. He's filling the place. Appreciate yourself. Don't depreciate yourself. Don't let people depreciate you. I don't like sarcastic people. I don't like people that talk down other people. To, make, to talk somebody else down, then you are an infidel. You are a bastard. You look at somebody to make yourself feel good 
you start talking down that you are an infidel. Ah! Go where you are appreciated. Go where you are loved. Go where you are honored. Go where you are dignified. Allow only those that honor you. Those of you who are pastors here, not even by ordinary people. If people have no respect for the oil on your head, they can get away, dear. Come on. Learn to love yourself. Not to the point whereby you turn to my mirror, 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 mirror. All the time, mirror, 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 mirror. Don't be self-absorbed. Don't be self-absorbed. Don't be self-absorbed. It's not all about you, 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 you. Learn to serve humanity. Be nice to somebody. Help people. Value people. Don't be wicked to that house girl. She may be a first lady tomorrow. Patient Jonathan, Jonathan's wife, our ex-president in Nigeria. His wife used to sleep on the ground. There's a woman whose flat she used to she used to woman telele. Sipalo, Finchley. I tell her, see, she sleep there. That's why when she was first lady, she enjoyed it. Fellow Nigerians, you can bear me witness. It was as though only her waka come. <laughs> ah! baby. When she was first lady, when they would go into countries, she would walk in front of her husband. Protocol said, President first, wife later. Our auntie Peche for where? She will remove her hand. She will go, go shake, shake, shake you first before the husband has finished climbing the stairs. Peche. <laughs> <laughs> I love the woman. Eh? There was a. Um, I love her. I like. I like the fact she enjoyed her time. You understand? It's only one life. They said she went for one function. Widow's uh, function. And then she started. She started. She wanted to greet the widows. And she said, ah, my fellow widows. Fellow widows? Was she intending on killing our president? <laughs> he didn't die. You know what? <laughs> now only Auntie P, Mama Peace, now only her can come. Come on. Come on. I'm sure every day she was first lady, she was remembering those <laughs> that she met there. <laughs> those. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Eh? Come on. Appreciate yourself. Don't let anybody pull you down or talk you down. Anybody wants to talk you down, it means they are small, small-minded, small head, small they stop. I'm almost covering my nose because they are stinking. Somebody will look at God's creation. A single hair of hair on your head, they can't create it. And they proceed to find something that they know or they think will hurt you. Now, Bikokwa, lioness. Adi amen koja. Iku sisi ama kusi ama kusi ya. Osi eba ba osi eba apota. Ha. Hmm. The show must go on. Don't allow anybody face you. Don't allow anybody face you. At the end of the day, all human beings go to the toilet. Everybody sits on that throne. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, everybody that wakes up in the morning, everybody carry nyash for back. Now who the nyash fit pass? It's a Nigerian proverb, Igbo proverb. 
Mm-hmm. It says all of us have buttocks at our backs, but there's nobody that buttocks particularly look spectacular on. So everybody get your own. Appreciate yourself. As I said, not to the point of vanity and self-absorption. Eh? Hallelujah. Learn, learn, learn to enjoy God. Hallelujah. Learn not to be bitter. So this kind of destiny, pimple destiny, that kind of life has taken thickened into a mess. Selfless. But nobody ever appreciates her. My prayer is just one prayer, one prayer point. One prayer point. You're shocked, eh? Sometimes one prayer point is bigger than 500 prayer points. Hear the prayer point first. Hear the prayer point first. Ah! Oh. You were awesome. Hey. Ah. Come on. One prayer point. Malakusa ke ta 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 la buzundu. Brata ye ko tsukora kata. Lord of glory is here. Come and feel this place. Oh, you are awesome. I love my Jesus. I love my Jesus. My Jesus loves me. No circumstances can change us or pull us apart. Woo! Come on. Come on. Awesome Glory Hallelujah Our God is here One prayer point That I pray for you Then you are going to pray that prayer point My prayer point is that My God Your God, our God, may He change my dimple and your dimple. May He change my pimple and your pimple into a dimple. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare say, I reject pimple destiny in Jesus' name. I reject. Pimple destiny in Jesus' name. I reject pimple destiny. Father, my father, change my pimple to a dimple. My father, my father, change my pimple to a dimple. Change my pimple to a dimple. Change my pimple to a dimple. Change my pimple. That point of pain, let it become a point, a, play, a point of reference. Change my pimple to a dimple. That which had made me a coagulated mess previously. That which has rendered me as a scabber, as, as, as a keloid, a scar. Change it, O oh God. Change it, O oh God. Change my pimple to a dimple, O oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, my people, so many things to tell you. 
celebrate Jesus because however it is you came here you are not living in the same way tell God to fill the space of your life tell the God of mercy to step into your matter change every pimple to a dimple change every pimple to a dimple change every point of pain to a point of positive reference say make me a wonder oh god that place that hand has joined hand and said i must not enter i must enter the place oh god i cannot be a stranger to miracles i cannot be a stranger to signs and wonder hey uluwau for those of you watching the Dr. Jesus Fire Summit is on Saturday the 3rd of June 2017. I'm really encouraging you to come. Even if you don't live in London, try and make time to come. You have a few days ahead of it. Plan it. One, two. We have a Facebook wall called The fire summit that's it on facebook wall tell your friends tell your family members who has a court case who has an immigration matter court cases immigration matters this friday by that third of june as well i'm really encouraging you to come even if you live in other parts of europe people do fly in for conferences Take the time out. Organize your life. There's only one life. Appreciate you. Look after yourself. There's no other planet Earth anywhere else. I hope you know that. Make time to come. Find the opportunity. All the details are on that Facebook wall. Arrangements are getting better by the day, by the hour. In addition to the Facebook wall, you need to go there and see what's happening. Like the page. When you go there, like, like the page. Look at the profiles of the various pastors, men of war, seasoned in battle, general in God's own armies, women, tongues of fire, voice of fire. I tell you, it's an exciting generation we live in. God bless you, Gabriella. We can just show me your face. God is going to show us his face on that day. Even if you don't live in London, if you have anyone that lives in London, invite them to come. The hour has come. You know, the Holy Ghost will do that which he has not done in the lives of many before. Just simply because they've not pushed that far yet. They've not reached that far yet. you got to stretch. Elisha stretched his body over the body of the young lad stretched it do that which you've never done before go the extra mile. he's only in seven sisters actually incidentally can i see who is intending on coming down can i see can you tell me if you're coming just so i can maybe even anticipate you on the day so we've been promoting the show now on television we'll be doing it on olive on faith we've done ben tonight and carry on until that show it's going to be awesome hallelujah god bless you Babolo. we anticipate you come come and come. you know the holy water is like a river and the holy spirit is like a river those of you who have fetched water before in nigeria god bless you children might be great for you to be there when you're in, going to the river to carry water, when you bend down and carry Janice, you have to come there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, Miss Today, General, good evening, sir. Fatma is coming. Hallelujah. Please, not just come and disappear. I want to see you all face to face, one to one. There will be picture opportunities, one to one. It's 
good when you see those you're praying with and talking with. It's good. Come on. Show me your face, Lord. My God. That day, God will show you his face. God will show you his face. He will not disappoint us. That day is going to be prayer workshop, MOT. Things you are not able to do in other churches, you will do it there that day. Come and see. The choir is wearing camouflage. All the ministers are wearing camouflage. You yourself, if you have camouflage, wear your camouflage and come. Because we need you in your military mind. It's not for designer or do designer later. You are coming there to do something. Hallelujah. Good news as well. www.thefiresummit.com or www.thefiresummit.co.uk This is the website. I'm going to be putting it up. Share the website. Go to the website. Go and see the profiles of these great men and women of God. The longer profiles. Go to the Facebook page. Like the Facebook page. See what we are saying is happening. I don't want my people to come and then not find seat. I'm hoping for space crisis on that day and it will happen. Makachuku. Because the Reaper angels have gone to the north, south, east, west. And people are gathering. Hallelujah. You will not miss out. Oh. My God will see you through. Those who can't come, please put us live on Facebook. My sister, see you on that day at the venue. Huh? God bless you, Gabby. www.thefiresummit.com Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. He has done it again. Only God could. You are, you are free to achieve destiny now. You have not come to this life with two left feet. You will not be uncounted when they are counting the list of good people, those who have benefited from God. It shall end in praise. That's what we are mobilizing towards. You shall become a proof of favor. Begin to enter into your new order of testimony. God loves you. The fact that you have tuned in, it means you're a man and woman of destiny. I thank you for trusting me with your time. My God, your God, our God, shall continue to decorate us. He shall continue to make us an enigma. We'll be mysterious. The more they look, the less they see, my people. The more those that are monitoring us look, the less they see. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for Pastor Sandra. I want you to pray for the fire conference coming up. Hey! That God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, the 24 elders in heaven, all the act, that heaven empties itself. Hallelujah. Into that place on that day. I'm really encouraging you. I, I just I give God glory. God will continue to uphold you, to wax you tall and strong. God will keep you alive for me and keep me alive for you. God will shelter us, hide us in the secret place of the Most High. Cover me, the ministry with the blood of Jesus. I told you a couple of days ago the dream I had. Shoot out. But I shot them all dead. They're all dead. I woke up alive. I didn't even pray. I just rubbed my stomach as if I ate jollof rice. I said, praise God. Oh. I got up. Come on. That you serve. You go from being terrestrial to celestial. That you become a spirit even though you live it. 
Our God makes his ministers flames of fire. Not fire for boiling rice. Not fire for boiling beans. Not fire for melting gold. Not fire for cooking out ayamase. Not fire for burning wood. Fire! Holy Ghost, fire! John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water. But he that comes is greater than I, and he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Fire and fire. That your life can turn the corner. Hallelujah. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gavi, baby girl. Thank you, Fatma. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Oma Baba. No, Janice, my sweetheart. Chidima. Ellen. Jennifer. Belinda. Fatma. Janice. Sharon Stone. God bless all of you. Paula, my sweetie. God bless all of you. So the next fixture, um, I believe it's going to be Friday. Or oh, there might be something before Friday. But Friday is the big one. Court cases, immigration matters, whether you are guilty or innocent. If you are guilty, you only have one prayer point that day. My father, show me your mercy. That's it. But if you're innocent, there are other prayers we're going to pray. The end is the same. Freedom, liberation, jubilation. God will scatter the matter. God will scap blast scatter the matter. Hallelujah. The God that did my own court case a few months ago scattered it. There was no, not even any proof on any system anymore that anything happened anywhere. That God will do it for you. He's still alive. The grace as we prepare to round up. Come on. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name, amen. For surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow you and me all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you and God bless you immensely for tuning in, for being on board with us. May your rema not be tampered with, polluted, stolen, hijacked misplaced malplaced may your rema not become another person's property may that which god has released into your hand refuse to go into the hands of another may you wax tall and strong may you be decorated from head to toe hallelujah thank you so much oh share the prayer share the picture the, the um event picture use it as a profiles it's only janice i've seen who has used it baby girl i love you love everybody huh but please share the um flyer so that other people can also share it see it so that you can also be part of this evangelistic move of god and believe that as you're sharing it that the fire that burns on the altar of the dr jesus ministries you are also a partaker in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Baruch Hababi Shebanon. I blessed are we because we come in the name of the Lord. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Good evening.